myself ms rohini assistant professor department of pharmaceutical chemistry kelly college of pharmacy belagavi today i am going to deal with the topic factors affecting enzyme action as we all know enzymes these are the biocatalysts which increases the rate of biochemical reactions taking place in the body without enzymes there will not be any reactions will be taking place in the body today we are going to see which are the various factors that affects the enzyme activity before going to that we should know how the enzymes act enzymes they will be having a catalytic site or the active site where the substrate comes and binds with that so that it will form a enzyme substrate complex and it will it is going to form a product whatever the product is formed after that a free enzyme is released and a free enzyme is going to react with the one more molecule of a substrate so that the reaction continues like that enzymes act but in this mechanism which are the various factors that affects the enzyme activity that we are going to study today these are the various factors that affects the enzyme activity in that first one is concentration of enzymes second one is concentration of substrates effect of temperature effect of ph effect of product concentration effect of uh, activators effect of time and last effect of light and radiation in that first one is concentration of enzymes as i said enzymes reacts with the substrate to form a enzyme substrate complex and a product is formed and so that a free enzyme is released whenever there is a increase in the concentration of enzyme it will increase the enzyme activity number of enzymes it is directly proportional to the number of substrate molecules if number of enzymes are more definitely there will be a increase in the enzyme activity so that whatever the uh, substrates are there they will come and bind with the active site of the enzymes this is how increase in the concentration of enzymes increases the enzyme activity or enzyme velocity in that mainly here whenever enzyme reacts with the substrate at the time it will give a long linear chain where increase in the concentration it increases the enzyme velocity this is how in, uh, concentration of enzyme affects the enzyme activity mainly in that like, second one is concentration of substrate substrate is the one where it binds with the active site of the enzyme whenever substrate is binding with the enzyme at that time active site it should have the affinity as well as intrinsic activity if there is no affinity towards the active site substrate will not bind and it will not fit uh, so that it there will not be any product formation whenever concentration of substrate uh, is whenever there is a concentration of substrate is there at that time whenever there is a increase in the substrate concentration definitely there will be a increase in the velocity of the concentration velocity of the enzyme catalyzed reaction where it will give a hyperbola curve initially there will be a linear curve will be there as the concentration of enzyme increases there will be a increase in the enzyme activity and it will give after that it will give a long curve after that it will start there will be declining the enzyme activity initially it will give a linear chain in initially it will give a linear curve after that main curve will be there after that almost unchanged form will be here okay this is how concentration of substrate act affect the enzyme activity when it comes to third third factor that is effect of temperature effect of temperature plays very important role in the enzyme activity because as the temperature increases there will be increase in the enzyme activity as the temperature increases there will be increase in the enzyme activity but it will be up to a certain level okay here mainly as we know that whenever there is a fever uh, whenever there is a fever at that time there will be a raise in the body temperature at that time uh, whatever the salivary amylase is there in the mouth it will be deactivated due to elevated body temperature so that whatever uh, enzyme salivary enzyme is there it will be deactivated due to elevated temperature so that whatever the taste buds are there we will not be feeling during fever that is uh, that example we can quote here it will be enzyme action will be maximum only up to 40 to 50 degree celsius means enzyme activity will be optimum at the at 40 degree celsius beyond that there will be a decline in the enzyme activity 
as the temperature increases enzyme activity increases it will be up to a certain level that is 40 to 50 degrees celsius beyond that enzyme activity start declining okay that is the temperature at which enzyme shows maximum action that is called as optimum ph okay and here mainly optimum ph that is mainly considered up to 40 to 50 degrees celsius this is how effect of temperature plays in the plays role in the enzyme activity and it will give a, a bell shaped curve and here there will be a maximum temperature will be there where there will enzyme, all the enzymes they will show a maximum activity then next is effect of ph effect of ph it is also same as that of temperature but increase in the ph it increases the enzyme activity but this is also up to 6 to 7 ph increase in the ph increases the enzyme activity this is up to certain level after that beyond 8 8 ph the enzyme activity start decreasing okay the the ph at which optimum uh, the ph at which maximum activity takes place that is called as optimum ph this is how ph affects the enzyme activity increase in the ph increases the enzyme activity this is up to up, uh, 6 to 8 ph beyond that enzyme activity start declining the ph at which enzyme activity is maximum that is called as optimum ph this also gives a bell shaped curve then next factor is effect of product concentration as the accumulation of more product are accumulated there will be a decrease in the velocity of the enzymes here mainly as i said enzymes reacts with the substrate to form enzyme substrate complex and it is going to form a product more the number of products there will be a uh, until and unless there will be not availability of the enzymes there will not be substrate will not be acting that's why accumulation of the reaction it will decrease the enzyme activity next factor is effect of activators there will be some uh, activators will be there some cations will be there some anions will be there okay cations include magnesium zinc calcium manganese and uh, anions include chlorine and all okay here whenever in presence of cofactors rate of enzyme catalyzed reactions will be more for example in the cycle glycolysis glucose is getting converted into glucose 6 phosphate uh, in presence of in uh, cofactor that is mg plus 2 magnesium it will act as a cofactor to increase the enzyme action here some metallic cations like magnesium zinc calcium manganese they mainly accelerate the biochemical reactions taking place in the body mainly how they act they will mainly by, uh, act by combining with the substrate then formation of a enzyme substrate metal complex these all are metals whenever they combine with the enzyme substrate complex which is the intermediate formed they will come mainly combine with the enzyme metal complex so, uh, they will they will mainly form with the they will mainly attach with the enzyme substrate complex so that they will form an enzyme met, enzyme substrate metal complex so that there will be a formation of product will be there and it will accelerate the reaction then third mechanism how they act is they mainly act by direct participation in the reaction then in the mainly by taking the conformational changes these ends, uh, these metal activators will be working then effect of time effect of time it also plays very important role because beyond certain time enzyme will not be active at the time if the temperature and ph they are optimum if they are normal then only uh, at the definite interval of time or a uh, optimum do, under optimum temperature and ph mainly the, the reaction time will be less and that less uh, and whatever the catalyze, enzyme catalyzed reaction are there they should take in a less time so that more and more reactions will be taking place in the body then effect of light and radiation some of the radiations like uv gamma x rays they will uh, beta rays they will mainly inactivate the enzymes that's why here uh, mainly they will decrease the activity of enzymes these are the various factors which affects the enzyme activity these are the references thank you